Hello guys! In today's video I want to share my language learning process. I will just show you how I practice some of the languages and what I've done and what I will do this week and what are my future plans and maybe dreams about learning and practicing some more languages. So if you're interested please keep watching because here I will share some interesting resources, ideas how to practice languages and stuff like that. So let's get started! All what I've done this week. So I've been mainly practicing English and French. Let's talk about English. Well, I practice it daily, so I cannot say that I do something specifically to learn something new, but I just do some regular stuff like watching TV shows or maybe reading some books. So today I'm going to tell you about one book I'm, I've been reading uh, recently. It's called How to be Good by Nick Hornby. Um, actually, it's a, it's a British English and it's a bit hard because I mainly speak American one and there are actually many things which I see for the first time and it makes it even more interesting and I love the way Nick Hornby writes. Um, I like the way he builds the stories because they are not like typical popular stories but they are very unusual and the characters are very, are very unusual. So I'll talk about this book. Uh, main characters are Katie and her husband David. Uh, so they've been, they are married and they've been having some hard times in, the, in their relationships and David used to be super angry, cynical, stuff like that and Katie dreamed about like changing him and stuff like that and one day he completely changed himself somehow after meeting this DJ good news <laughs> yeah and now uh, it got even worse because he became super kind person and he started to give all the things away to homeless people and it's crossing the line and now I am on this like part when Katie tries to figure out like how to live with that because uh, sometimes I think she misses the old David and yeah it's, it's actually very interesting. I guess that this book uh, will be good for I think upper intermediate and uh, higher levels because well it's actually pretty difficult to read. Um, there are like uh, many phrases uh, which for example I saw for the first time. Uh, so yeah but overall really good stuff and I really like this a writer, so one of the modern writers I really enjoy reading. And talk about TV shows, I recently watched the third, I guess it was the third, the third episode, uh, Never Have I Ever. I really like this um, TV show because it's, you know, like, it's super light, teenage-like, and uh, the episodes are not very long, and it's super great for practicing uh, spoken English. So it's American English, thanks God, and um, one of the main characters, she's Indian, but her English is like, uh, she has no accent, but her relatives have accents. And it's really great like to uh, hear uh, to hear how other people speak English, because they are foreigners, and you can hear their accent. So it's really co good, since they are teenagers, they are at school, they use like the most like modern American English you can ever find, I guess, on the internet right now. So it's, it's actually a really great, I enjoy it so it's like school drama teenage drama I love the stuff so for me it was it was it was really great time um, watching this uh, watching this TV series and yeah I just watch it on Netflix and I don't have like a strategy how to choose TV series I just choose the ones I find on Netflix uh, let's continue with some French in the beginning of this week I tried to find a book a textbook to uh, practice my French with I use the textbook editor and they really love it the way they structure the lessons stuff like that so i chose this textbook uh, for my own practice as well i chose level of b2 because well my french is around b2 right now but i decided to start with the beginning of b2 maybe to revise some of the things because i don't have like constant everyday practice right now uh, during this week i've started this topic called amonavi like in my in in my opinion alors alors ce thème c'était c'était assez intéressant je euh, je vais parler un peu français oui mon français 
n'est pas parfait et j'ai des problèmes avec ma prononciation alors alors oui <rire> alors j'ai lu quelques textes euh, de la France et euh, j'ai appris quelques phrases pour exprimer mon opinion euh, c'était oui très utile euh, c'était tout bien alors oui pour, pour continuer à pratiquer ma langue euh, euh, je vais regarder des vlogs d'outre euh, de la situation c'est une euh, blogueuse française très populaire sur youtube en france je pense que dans les autres pays aussi alors je vais regarder euh, ces vidéos et je voudrais conseiller les autres vidéos aussi à euh, french mornings j'aime ces vidéos elles sont hyper utiles piece of french euh, oui, elle publie des vlogs, euh, les autres vidéos pour euh, enseigner les gens les choses différentes, euh, les, les chansons françaises, quelque chose. I think I will stop speaking French. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's also like a great practice to speak French with, for, for, for the video or something. So, uh, my actual plan for the future, like talking about practicing languages, is to uh, find a way to practice Chinese because um, again as I mentioned in my other videos I don't have any practice right now well I think I recently found a girl on Twitter and we've been chatting in Chinese so that's the only practice I have uh, so we've been chatting WhatsApp and it, it was actually nice because I recalled many things I forgot um, so it's, it's really good so like the goal is to find actually people to practice it with because for me the best practice is speaking with real people uh, preferably natives so this is what I was going to do with French but people I was going to practice with they uh, didn't have time during summer so hopefully they will have uh, the, 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 they will have more time um, in the fall and I'll be able to practice French with one of my friends uh, we used to practice French uh, in spring and before and uh, with one native uh, person who I met in Normandy when I was studying in France so I believe that it would be like an excellent practice for me for sure and I just want it to happen because well I miss speaking I miss speaking French to people it's it's really it's it's a really great language uh, yeah so and for Chinese again uh, I guess I will I, I, I still have some books from uh, China when I studied in China and I learned Chinese so maybe I will start with them anytime soon I don't know maybe it will not happen this week or maybe this week because on Friday I'll be going to Thailand to celebrate my birthday on Saturday most probably I will have time to practice Chinese this week but uh, because uh, in September I'll, I will not have my studies yet uh, I remind you that I'll, I'll start my master's this semester uh, but they, they will only start in October so for now I still have some like more free time to do self, uh, some self-learning and stuff so I don't want to lose this chance and just to keep going just talking to you about Chinese I thought that why shouldn't I practice it today? Because while well, I'm cooking my lunch, well, it's actually being cooked by itself, it does matter. So I thought that I have like extra 15 minutes. So I will try to find a text in one of the books. Uh, I don't know which Tin Li it's listening and Yue Tu is reading. I will try to find the text and I will try to read it to practice pronunciation because my biggest problem in Chinese is my pronunciation because I can speak fast, I know words and structures um, especially after practicing a bit I feel I start to feel the language again and the, my biggest problem is my pronunciation and um, it can be a really really big problem because when you try to speak to local people they will not understand you if you use different tones, a uh, wrong tone Usually, like um, in Chinese, uh, we usually have like many new words in the very beginning of each uh, lesson. 
and um, the easiest way to remember them is first of all to write everything down well for first of all you want to read them the way I did so you read them you pronounce them and you read the translation it's in English here <clears throat> And then you write down all the words here because here like each character is written separately and here the characters are put into 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 real words so then you write them down and they stick to you a little bit better and then when you read a text or write like real text uh, you just try to find uh, the translation in your notebook or whatever you use to write down the words and it gets much better so yeah Nouveau projet Nouvelle rigolade Je viens de nouvelle rigolade Nouveau look Pour une nouvelle vie C'est tout, hein Je viens de nouvelle serviette et comment sont disposées les pailles Ce que j'ai pas prévu, c'est de voir la tête d'un invité.